In this video and in this lab, we're going to discuss how to use Minitab to compute confidence intervals for both population means and population proportions. Now recall that a population proportion is used in a situation where you have a binary variable, for example, birth sex, and you'd like to estimate the unknown population proportion of people, for example, students at Pacific, who have a particular value, for example, female. Okay. Now in Minitab, uh, before you begin this lab, you're going to want to import the data set students15, and I've already done that, and it should look something like the following with the variable names in the gray header and then the actual values of the variables in the white part of the spreadsheet. Now to construct a confidence interval for a population proportion, go to statistic, basic statistics, and then one proportion, and when you enter leave this one or more samples each in a column alone. Here you want to choose the variable with which you'd like to summarize. Under options, notice that you can select the confidence level. We'll start off with the 95%, but you can choose that to 90 if you want. You can ignore this for now. We'll come back to this later in the course. And down here under method, let's choose normal approximation because that's what we've been doing in class thus far. So when we click OK, Notice that in Minitab, it decided that the event was male, and it gave us a sample P and a corresponding confidence interval. All right. What does this mean, event is equal to male? Well, in Minitab, what it does is it chooses one of the two values, either male or female, and counts that as a success, and then computes the corresponding sample proportion here. If you would like the reverse sample proportion, for example, the proportion of females in the sample, you can simply subtract this from 1, and similarly, you can get the confidence interval by subtracting both of these values by 1. So we can see here that the interpretation would be that of all students at Pacific, we're estimating at 95% confidence that between about 50% and about 64% are male. Now, recall that that is also incorrect, but that's due to sample bias, and all of these confidence interval techniques actually assume that we are selecting a random sample of participants from the population of interest, and you should make note of this in your interpretations. Now, moving on to a confidence interval for a population mean, recall that those apply in situations where we have a numeric variable of interest. So one example of a numeric variable in our survey is risk score. To compute a confidence interval for a population mean, return to the stat basic statistics menu, and we're going to use a one sample t, because recall that we discussed in class for a population mean, we should use t critical values instead of z. We'll select the column containing the variable of interest. Again, under options, you can choose the confidence level, and again, don't worry about this for now. And notice that you can also select various graphs, like for example, if you'd like to see a histogram or a box plot of the variable of interest, you can, you can do that here as well. I'll select box plot just for now. Clicking on OK, we see a box plot created here for the variable risk score. It actually uh, has the median, but also it has the mean and the corresponding confidence interval plotted here, which is a nice feature. And going up to the session window, we can see that the Minitab will output all the relevant information here. For example, the sample mean, the sample standard deviation, and then the standard error of the sample mean, which is this divided by square root of 189. And finally, the, the endpoints for the 95% confidence interval.